I just realized I actually saw this movie before I played any of the Doom video games. Hi there guys, thank you for coming to Cinema Bear, my name is Eric Ortiz, and for Memory Lane Monday we're going to take a look at Doom, in honor of the upcoming Borderlands film, which is ironically the second or third of video game adaptation that's based on a first person shooter. Uh, theatrical of course, I mean, there's the Halo series, but let's not talk about that right now. So Doom, the basic premise is that a couple of soldiers are sent to some medical facility because they've had some weird outbreak. And if that sounds like aliens, it's because it is very much aliens. And in terms of story, that's pretty much all that you need to know in terms of this one. There's some character dynamics here between the Sarge played by The Rock and uh, Carl Urban's character, whose name I don't even remember because it's really not that interesting, and his sister played by Roseman Pike. The dynamic is uh, gets your attention well enough just because of the characters involved i mean i mean the rock is a compelling actor carl urban you know who's killing it at the boys is a compelling actor and rosamund pike is an amazing actress so these characters or these actors pardon me on camera get your attention but in terms of the delivery of the story and just kind of giving a shit about what happens to them it's pretty much just like a waste of time in terms of the directing andre varkoviak does a pretty decent job the movie looks pretty good overall. The action's fairly well shot. When, when the action involves shooting, is fairly well, well shot. Uh, there are some scenes where it's more like a, a fist fights with the monsters that kind of look a little ridiculous and the wire foo is on steroids and it just looks frankly bad. But for the most part, the action is decent. There is one sequence in particular, the uh, first person shooter um, big action beat at the end that it's interesting to watch at first and then you realize just how slow and monotonous it is and kind of gets boring and overstays its welcome. If you're a fan of the games, and I actually became a fan of the Dune video games uh, after seeing this film, just out of curiosity, I played the games. It's fun to watch. It's interesting to see just how that perspective in terms of action doesn't necessarily work long term. It worked really well with Bad Boys Ride or Die, where at the end shootout, you get this moment where you get a first person view through Will Smith and Martin Lawrence's characters. But here, because it's so prolonged and because up until this point, there's not really anything to make the monsters come off as scary because once you see them, they just look like some guy in a rubber suit. It, it just feels a little bit flat, to be perfectly honest with you. And while I want to give it some credit for trying something, it just doesn't stick the landing. In terms of the acting, it's actually pretty okay. The Rock is very charismatic. Uh, Carl Urban and uh, Roseman Pike are trying to elevate this very uh, basic material. They don't succeed because the script is just not that good. Uh, which is ironic because the, the some of the writers from here went on to do uh, bigger and greater things. I think one of them in particular went to write one of the uh, Spider-Verse films. And uh, But what's here, probably because the source material just has such a light story, doesn't really add up to anything. It's Marines shooting monsters. There is an attempt to incorporate genetics and spirituality as a means towards who's going to be evil, who's going to turn to be evil, and who's going to remain good. And then you realize the movie's just trying really hard to be interesting in any way, shape, or form. And frankly, uh, Barkoviak's directing with the actors it isn't really compelling. He does not know how to direct drama. And in a ridiculous movie like this, you kind of need some type of authenticity with performance and uh, with how the actors deliver their lines. Twisters did this very well. This movie does not. Doom 2005 is ultimately just a Cinebad film. It tries a couple of interesting things, but none of them really like go anywhere. And on a side note, I was noticing in the cinematography that the movie just kind of like shifts from using chiaroscuro and shadow and, and tenebrism in a very interesting way to cutting to a shot that's very flat and overly lit. And it's like, well, what's what's the visual vocabulary of this movie? We're going to go dark and moody. We're going to go very bright and, um, you know, like flashy. And it, it never really likes, you know, decides what it's going to be. I remember liking this a lot more when I first saw it ages ago. And I guess that's one of those things that as a gamer, you're just excited to see a video game adapted to a film. And then you realize why most video games do not get adapted to a film after 20 minutes of this thing. So yeah, that's my honest take on Doom. I'm hoping Borderlands uh, is a much more entertaining experience. I got my fingers crossed. And yeah, thank you for coming to Cinema Bear. My name's Eric Ortiz. Please do me a massive favor and hit that like, subscribe button. You know, share this, warn people about Doom. And let's be uh, 
constantly optimistic on Borderlands. Thank you very much again and take care. Bye-bye.